Hello guys, today in the show we have Eli Marta. So how do you maintain your muscles on a fruitarian diet? Protein. You hear it all the time, okay, we, you know, how do, we, how do you get protein and whatnot? Well, you don't necessarily need to always eat what your body's composed of, right? Like it's, it's the same argument if I say, oh, well, you have hair. How do you maintain hair? Okay, well, therefore I have to eat hair in order to maintain my hair. Um, how do you maintain your nails? Oh, well, I should be eating nails if I want to maintain nails, right? It doesn't work like that. You don't necessarily have to eat what your body is, is composed of. Th this is the work of the vital force in, 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 your, in your system, in your body, right? It's a, it's a very intelligent operation. Intelligence beyond intelligence, something that you will never be able to understand. It's a very deep um, kind of um, intrinsic level of creation that is responsible for fueling your body and setting, setting the, the laws that govern it, right? And it transmutes and it changes a lot of the elements of nutrition that you put into your body and it, it fashions them in, in the best way possible and it creates the tissues that you need to sustain yourself. So this is where understanding what you are is extremely helpful, right? If you don't know what you are, you're just gonna be confused. So again, like, I, I love giraffes. I always use that giraffe analogy, but yeah, you know, you have these giraffes that maintain their physiques by eating <laughs> leaves all day. You know, you have these elephants that maintain their physiques by eating. No elephant is going to another elephant and going like, holy crap, man, how do you maintain that, that elephant physique? The elephant would just say, well, I'm a goddamn elephant, man. They're the same as you. Just, just do what you're doing and you, you'll maintain your physique. Come on. You know, it's, good, right? <laughs> it's the same, it, it's the same thing. Um, you, you, if you, if you don't know what you are, you'll be confused. So if you know you're a human being and that you eat human food, fruit, leafy green veggies, you know, sprouts or you know, nuts and seeds, you know, whatever. The, the, the spectrum of raw foods that, are, that your palate accepts, okay? Um, but primarily fruit, because that's what you respond to with the, with the most strength. Like nothing really tastes as pleasing to you in your mouth as a ripe fruit. Like if, you, if you're telling me that you prefer lettuce over a ripe mango i i know you're lying like i know you're lying right? it's just it's what you respond to as a human being okay so um so the answer is what why wouldn't it be that you could maintain a good physique if you are um, active okay so if you're leading an, a healthy and active lifestyle why would it not be that you could maintain that eating what your species is supposed to eat how could it be otherwise? How, right? How, how, how is a hummingbird not going to be able to maintain a hummingbird physique if it eats what hummingbirds are supposed to eat? How, how could it not be? Why would nature be so cruel as to curse a hummingbird with a, 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 a body that just degrades and wilts if it keeps eating what it's supposed to eat? You know, right? Yeah. So there's what, what confuses people is that there is a, there's a breakdown process when you go from an adulterated diet where your body is just like puffed up and filled with all sorts of nonsense, right? And then you go on a raw food diet or a cleaner diet or a fruit, fruit based lifestyle, whatever. Yeah, you do lose weight. You whittle down, you get thinner, you get leaner. Yeah, that has, that's gonna happen. It happened to me, it's gonna happen to everybody if they're coming from that, that diet, right? That, it's going to happen but that doesn't mean that you are that you are breaking down you, you are but your body's breaking down only what shouldn't be there and it's leaving what should be there okay but w the core essentials are not breaking down your body's intelligently preserving them and it's getting rid of all the all the nonsense okay so um, so people will see that and they'll get freaked out and they'll say, oh, well, I can't sustain myself on a raw diet because I see all these people losing all this weight on raw food. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, that's what's happening. They're, they're getting healthier. That's, that's part and parcel of getting healthier is shedding the nonsense, shedding the riffraff, right? It's like, it's like lifestyle. You know, if you want to live stress-free without depression and whatnot, 
one of the things that you do is you shed everything that's not necessary, right? It's a very natural process. It works on many, many different scales. You, you get rid of all the nonsense. You, you eliminate, you start with an elimination diet in your lifestyle. If you want to cure like depression and anxiety and whatnot, right? You get rid of all things that are not serving you. And that's what your body does. Your body gets rid of all the things that are not serving you. And, and once, once it's whittled itself down to where it wants to be, then you can continue your exercise and your, in your, in your um, uh, active lifestyle and you'll just be fit and healthy, right? And you'll maintain your, your, your muscle mass where your body wants to be. So yeah, there's, there's no complicated example. I'm not, I'm not hiding anything from you. I, it's, I'm not, you know, telling you I'm doing a fruit-based lifestyle. And then on the side, I'm injecting myself with rhinoceros <laughs> testosterone or anything. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not doing that. Right. I literally just, but the secret is I've always been health, um, active and I've never stopped being active. And, 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 and my body, uh, I lost a lot of weight when I started doing the fruitarian lifestyle, but I didn't let that freak me out. And I just kept being active and my body went to a place where it was happy and, and that's it. And, 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 and I feel great. And I just continue to live my active lifestyle. And, and there's, there's no big secret. It's the, the, the only thing that people want that I want to um, uh, remind people of is that, yeah, there, there is a transition period where your body is going to be adapting and just don't be scared of that. Don't be scared of that breakdown process. And if you're not, yes. then just, you know, yeah, then you'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. This is very useful information for me for because I myself, I think I'm going through that period where I've kind of like lost a lot of weight from what I like before. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's okay, you know, yeah, because yeah. the feeling is so good. And I think that is what guides mostly me. It's like even when yeah. I was sick after like eating raw food and whatever, and then I was like, mm -hmm. but like just fasting and eating, fruits again is what is making me feel good for a limited period of time right. maybe i'm not able to like you know take juices it's okay i don't want to go to the hospital at all yeah and like it was yeah. a great great learning process for me to just be patient like be in my conviction that you know i can take care of my body and like mm -hmm. it can heal itself completely and yeah right. it's um it's kind of challenging to go through that period especially because it's like society is like always there, you know, like my friends and everyone, oh, you've lost so much weight. And like, I feel good, man. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, it's not yeah. so bad for women, actually, because even if you lose weight, it's okay, you know, so <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But like True. my mom is there. My mom, my mom, she would say also like, you know, oh my God, Kartika, what's up with you? you like taking so thin. I'm like, well, I'm going through some like, you know, process and like just have faith i'll gain weight <laughs> if you want to oh, it has yeah. to happen yeah so yeah, uh, yeah. yes yeah. and i think i went, I I went through all that too yeah yeah then you so, yeah no i was yeah I say, yeah yeah you stay straight yeah the first couple of years you know obviously you get that from everybody it's just it's just non-stop eventually you know people get used to used to the new you and then it's okay but oh yeah i i you know non-stop from everybody friends family just like oh my god you lost so much weight oh my god you're changing oh my god you're dying oh my god. Like, yeah no please <laughs> yes, but, uh, and, and what about now i what what is it uh your um colleagues and uh, you know family members how do they feel about mm. what you're doing now are they are they happy are they still like oh, oh come yeah. on like yeah, yeah. they have to walk yeah, in the yeah, no, what you do yeah, you know, every, every, everyone's fine with it now because, you know, because nothing's really changed outside of that. Like every, you know, all my, all my friends are still all my friends, you know, we, everyone hangs out. We're we all still, you know, we all still get along very well. Like nothing, nothing has really changed in the relationships there. It's, it's literally just, just the, yeah. you know, the diet and, and eating aspects. Right. So yeah, after, after enough time, it's just, yeah, it becomes, you know, it just becomes part and parcel of who you are. And, um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. No. No. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm sure it's also so much about like your inner self and consciousness. If you want to make it like smoother yeah. process with your family, it's possible. It's like they will just look up to you instead of like yeah. you know having so much problem. Yes. 
Right. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and it's, it, and it's, you know, doing this, it's not like, you know, you, you, you're still, you're still in society. You're still living. You're still, you're still doing everything that, you know, doing yeah. for the most part. Probably, it's like, probably yeah, I haven't better. run off and yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you, you haven't, you haven't joined some, you know, where you smear your body with, with mustard and, and then like, whatever. I don't know. It's, it's, so it's nothing like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so people just kind of like accept it and then yeah it, it, no 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 issues no problems they still go out to like dinners and and social gatherings and whatnot they just make little little changes little little amendments in yeah what what i'm eating or what i'm not eating or, or whatever it is and yes. yeah every, everyone's yes. fine yeah. so but then i i would say there are a lot of fruitarians also that i've seen um who are very thin as well. So you would say that yeah, depending yeah. on like your physical, like whatever you're doing with your physique is how the body's gonna like, you know, balance itself out. If you're not like physically active too much, then you're gonna be thin mm -hmm. because your body doesn't need yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, is it that? Okay. Uh, that's uh, that's what I would say. Yeah, that's what I would say. It's 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 just a response to stress. It's a, re it's a response to environmental stress. It's just like, if okay if i it, it doesn't matter who you are if i if i take a bowling ball and i smash your shin uh every single day without without fail to to whoever pick anybody in you know from in, in the in society right regardless of what they're eating that shin is going to get really 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 strong at some point right the the skeleton's going to calcify and it's going to want to protect itself from that constant onslaught of completely unnecessary abuse right so um it doesn't matter what your diet is that shin bone is going to get super strong if if you if you're hanging from trees all day every single day you you can be eating the grease from mcdonald's waste paper uh, waste waste bin right every single day and your your hands are going to callous up and they're going to get really tough and they're going to adapt to the stress of hanging from trees every single day doesn't matter what your diet is okay so it's it's that's just a stress response and exercise is very similar so if you if you do bicep curls every every single day um well it, it's not a good idea you, you might you know, over exhaust yourself but I'm just, I'm just saying if you yes. if you did a small amount of bicep curls right every single day <laughs> You would get you would get really really good at bicep curls. You'd get get really really strong, and it wouldn't really matter what your diet is. Okay, yes. now your diet will help. So if you have a really good diet on top of all that exercise, all those bicep curls, you'd probably get a, a really 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 strong and really really healthy, and the whole system would complement uh, one another. But um, it's not necessary. You could still get really really strong. Just doing these bicep curls because that's that's what fitness is is that resp it's the response to stress so for for the uh, for fruitarians that are that are experimenting or have been living like that that are super 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 skinny um it might there could be a lot of reasons okay um i'm not going to discount all the other factors that go that that play at this yes there could be lots of reasons okay but in terms of how much activity they're getting, that's that's probably a big one. Now, with me in particular, I, I never stopped doing the, I never stopped living the, the the active lifestyle. So that's always been, that's I've 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 been designing and shaping my 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 figure like that for my whole life, right? So so that never subsided or stopped. So that I'm sure has something to do with it. Okay. Whereas let's say you've got a, a, a couch potato who's been a couch potato for their entire lives. And then all of a sudden they're like, you know what, I think I'm going to stop abusing myself. And then they just want a healthy lifestyle, uh, lose a ton of weight and they might get like really, really, really skinny if they don't do anything. If they just keep doing the couch potato lifestyle like that, you can see how that might be pretty disastrous in terms of like what happens. In, in terms of our aesthetics and how we see, how, how we've culturally constructed um, healthy aesthetics, right? 
so, but no, of course, there's 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 a lot to be said about just just living an active lifestyle and making that consistent. So you know, don't, don't be you don't don't do the the New Year's resolution. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna work out and get really in shape for the summer. And then the summer comes and you're in shape and it's like, oh, you've achieved your goal. So now I'm just going to do nothing for the rest of the year, right? It, activity should be something fun and enjoyable that you do all the time. I, that's the wrong way to say it. Not all the time, but just something that's part of your lifestyle, right? You don't, you don't want to do anything in excess. Um, and just make it part of your lifestyle so that it is fun and enjoyable. And, uh, and, be, and that is something you do with consistency and regularity, right? So you just always do that. And that's going to put you in a very, very good place where you're, where you're getting the, the, the benefits of that healthy lifestyle. And of course, the, the uh, diet and the clean, the clean lifestyle in terms of eating and, uh, and, and whatnot. So you get the benefits of, and, uh, yeah. so no, yes. no big secrets. No big secrets. <laughs> yes, it's completely, it completely makes sense. So actually I had mm -hmm. a question which I kind of you answered only and I kind of know also the answer. Uh, just through this yeah. talk which is like mm. so uh, women probably would not want to maintain so much muscle but they would want <laughs> to maintain more like a little mm. bit of fat you know um, yeah. for me myself like I know that it's probably easier to make muscle on uh, um, raw diet because I was not really doing any exercise I'm just very active in terms of like running around in the mountain just going in here and there mm -hmm. and I had abs okay so one day I was clicking like my thumbnail, <laughs> thumbnail and I was so shocked I was like oh my god how did this happen so and I was like it's the food man it's like what else like there's no difference <laughs> and then you know some people come oh you become skinny but not everyone's skinny like, I'm like Oh, okay like you know give me an answer yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But yeah like, of course of so course. <laughs> the, the question that i had before like talking mm. to you was like okay if uh, some women like ha want to have like you know they probably they want to have a higher level of fat and they, you like women have mm. to have also compared to men but i think uh, the answer like that i found just in the conversation is that you're eating your natural diet whatever your body has to mm -hmm. like be in with respect to your activity and whatever environment, you know, uh, you're yeah. living in and your body needs to like, uh, you know, maintain itself in a way to, to mm -hmm. give you whatever, like, you know, according to your lifestyle and the food will do it. Right. But like, what would you say? Like, yes. um, what, what, yes. what is your answer? Like if women uh, want to maintain mm -hmm. like some level of fat and don't want to be too skinny there was this one girl lots of people are like I, I have not I don't have much experience with all of this that you're sharing I am really getting into mm -hmm. it and I share my experience on YouTube but I get so many questions you know and like they're talking about mm -hmm. their periods and then they're talking like oh their periods reduced and then they're talking about how their cheeks are becoming thin or like stuff like yeah. that oh they're becoming too skinny so what what would you say right. If uh, like uh, if a female wants to maintain, you know, an ideal uh, blooming body and like you know being uh, in terms of health and right, well-being right. and also aesthetics, um, just like what what comes to your mind to tell them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, in 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 terms of uh, just like those those differences, um, yeah. I mean, w women and men, like we don't really have a, a choice in the matter because like just naturally. Uh, women are going to tend to carry slightly more body fat, right, than than men are. They, we, we don't have a choice. Like we can just we can we can live with this, or you know, deal with it or not, right? So uh, regardless of what happens in the, yeah, 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 which was just a relief for a lot of people, right? But um, yeah, so so the, the the diet is going to yeah, it's going to make these these cosmetic changes, okay, in in how you appear, but I mean those 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 kind of um, underlying characteristics, uh, those, those are, are not really going to change too much unless you really, really try, unless the, you know, that you, you actively pursue this like zero low body fat um, type of type of physique and, you know, you do whatever you have to do to get there. But generally speaking, yeah, if you have a, a clean diet, you're, you're still as a woman going to carry slightly more body fat than uh, a, a male would would have in a comparable height and weight ratio, right? In this in similar proportions, you're generally having, if they're if they're if they're worried about losing too much weight, okay, or losing too much uh, or whatever, um, you you always have 
have to, you always have to understand that the the vital force that powers the system that powers the body it's it's intelligence comes from from a place that is beyond our comprehension okay so it's gonna it's gonna do what it what it's going to do and there's not much we can do about it right what we can do is is recognize the laws that are that are in operation and just work with them okay to our advantage as, as best we can so if um like okay I'll, I'll give you my example so i was i was a certain height and weight right carrying a lot, around a lot of bulk i decided okay i'm gonna you know i'm gonna transition to this to this uh to this healthy lifestyle and then my body responded now did my did my body really care that i that i liked you know being big and muscular no it didn't care it's it, it, it just saw the new conditions that were being presented and it said okay well these are the conditions i'm gonna have to respond to these conditions by squeezing out the tissues and flushing everything out and just doing everything that you know that comes that, that comes with um you know with that set of conditions that, you, that you're imposing on yourself right and 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 with that you know a, a lot of the health irritations and uh, discomforts that I was experiencing, a lot of those went away at the same time. So it's like, holy smokes, okay, great. But, you know, it, it, the subjective belief or the subjective um, aesthetic uh, constructions, I should say, those those were irrelevant in terms of what that vital force is doing um, under under the conditions of, of a cleaner and healthier uh, diet, right? So, what we can do is we can minimize that. So if someone's okay, so your question is if someone's losing too much weight or whatnot, what do they what do they do? You can you can kind of slow down the effects and kind of pick where you want to be in that spectrum. So if if uh, if the aesthetics are very very important and you notice that a, a a raw diet is taking too much away from you and it just it it causes a lot of stress and a lot of worry then the stress and the worry is probably less healthy <laughs> for you. So in that, in that case, um, maybe you want to have more concentrated food in the diet. Maybe you do want to have that tiny amount of cooked food, or maybe you, wanted, you do want to add like a higher concentration of nuts and seeds or whatnot, or a higher concentration of fats and you know, the avocados and the olives and all that stuff, right? So maybe, maybe you do. If, if that's what it takes, to alleviate stress and worry, right? If you're that person that that's, that's what's important, then, you know, I, I don't have a good answer for you. Then, then you probably don't want that lifestyle, right? You probably want to find some sort of compromise where you're, you're, you're happy with how you look and you're not getting that stress and worry and, and you know, all, all those other discomforts, right? So, and, and, and that's really how, how it works. You just have to plot yourself into where you want to be right and and, and depending on what you want right so, so if if true if that if the healthiest of the healthiest is what you want right then you just have to understand that that comes at and not at a price it's it's not that it comes at a price but it there's comes with yeah there's, there's exactly there's a, there's a process associated with that that you have to be willing to accept and it's and, and it, it's no different than the alcoholic, right? Okay, if you're the alcoholic and you have determined that it, you do not want to be an alcoholic any longer, you must, by necessity, must go through a period where there's an, a discomfort and a, like an uncomfortable um, uh, period where you're going to be casting out all of the metabolic uh, byproducts associated with alcoholism, and it's un uncomfortable. Right, and it, and it does things to your body. It changes your body. But on the other side of that, is you know, is some nice green grass. <laughs> so um, you just have to be, a, you just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So you just have to be understanding of that, right? Um, yeah. So yeah, and and that's and and uh, you know, you get that question a lot. It's like, oh, how do I stop um, the the uh, the weight loss? And mm. it's it's one of those things like well, you're asking for your to eat your have your cake and eat it too right you you have to kind of choose and, and you can mitigate you know you can mitigate within reason 
even even in the raw food uh, spectrum. So you you would just have eat eat more or eat more of the concentrated foods um, or or eat more often or, or whatever it is. How, however you want to want to play it, but yeah, there 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 does come a point where you have to just just choose where you want to be and 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 make sure you know you have your whys very straight and and then just plot out where on that spectrum you're comfortable without the stress and the worry what you can manage comfortably and what's feasible for you with your situation because obviously you know we live all over the planet um people are going to come from different uh you know different circumstances different geographical circumstances and so not everything is going to be feasible for everybody so we always have to recognize that too right yes i think being in india is really yeah. good uh you can get all varieties of food and there's sun can you? and so much yeah yeah so uh, well i saw i <laughs> sorry i was just about to say i i saw the video a, a couple of your recent videos and i was just my mouth was watering i'm like oh my god they have access to such amazing stuff <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. I can't wait to have you here. Like it would be so mm. uh, epic, you know. <laughs> whenever, whenever it has to happen. So, so that oh, there was. Oh, it would be amazing! Yeah. Yes, yeah. there was this yeah, one question that came from the audience, which was like, "What is your daily routine mm. like?" So, like, well, okay. I would also want to ask you: Are you meditating, breathing exercises, and like, mm. what do you do for spirituality? I know you read a lot, and I'm sure you're living mindfully. Yeah. You have amazing energy. that i can feel <laughs> and uh, you do so good with your body and mind and with your work and everything oh there was so much love that i felt in the messages as well i was like so wow. feeling amazing but like what uh, what oh, are the amazing. other thing <laughs> what what is the other things that you're doing as well because um yeah i wouldn't say that everyone who's eating raw food has like you know uh, gone through a great uh, evolution of consciousness there is definitely that it helps you know but you would find so many people yeah, who are raw yeah. vegan and you wouldn't like okay all right you know <laughs> you just be like mm -hmm. okay all right there's not so much inspiration but when it comes to you like right. you know the energy is great and like you're doing so good with your body and there's so much more so um, what what is your routine like what uh, tell tell us about like your spiritual practices that you're also following along sure. with the food right right um yeah so uh and, and that's that's one of the reasons why why I like that I like this path so much because it, it does interface so well with with any spiritual pursuits and yeah. it it complements them and it makes them more likely to succeed like you'll have a much better time uh I I I I talked at some point on my on my channel just about breathing about how important breathing is and if if your if your pathways are clogged up your meditation is going to be you know it's going to be half baked right it's it, you want clean 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 respiratory channels so that you get the most out of that practice and so 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 just having all of these these uh motivations it, it, you know it just uh, uh, serves to reinforce my why's right to get my why's really straight and um now in terms of what i'm doing on a daily basis uh for for just spiritual development or you mean like diet as well like what's a typical diet day and and uh, meditation um uh, thing or you mean yeah. just just on the spiritual why well, you could spiritual uh, side of things you could include all of yeah yeah just like okay fine that. yeah 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 okay fine so um so in terms of just spirituality um i think the the first place uh that i would start or that i started from is just uh, recognizing your dreams and just being very mindful of your dreams it's like it's the e easiest and most natural connection that we have to our to our spiritual centers is is how we dream so when i started that's what i started with i just started um trying to pay very very close attention having the booklet uh the, the my notebook beside my bed at all times with a pen ready and then whenever i would have a dream or an experience i'd always just write it down and just being just being very mindful so i was going to bed always uh, anticipating and uh, and getting ready for whatever i was going to dream what messages might be coming and then in the morning or whenever i wake up just recording them so 
that I think for anyone that, that wants to start, that's probably the best place to go because it's the, it's the, like I was saying, it's the most direct access that you have to your to your higher spiritual centers without much effort at all. Every everybody dreams, you just have to want to pay attention, and then you start to remember. Um, in terms of, of 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 actual meditation, I like to do them before I go to bed. Because what that does is it puts me in, a, in the right frame of mind to be able to have better success with either my dreams or or lucid dreaming or astral projection, right? So getting in the right mind mind state where I'm kind of getting rid of the clutter, I I like to do it before bed. Um, so have about fifteen to twenty minutes, and this is not every night. I, I'm no spiritual guru by any means, right? So I don't want to give anyone out there a false impression right i'm just as i'm just as likely to be picking out on cantaloupe you know before bed so i i'm, I'm that guy too um but when i when i do do my no when i do so do my practice yeah funny. i do like to do it before bed yeah <laughs> in a matter of speaking in a matter of speaking yes <laughs> um but but yeah so but when i do it i yeah i do like to do it before bed or and if i can't if i if i have to just get to bed for for work or whatnot or, or whatever because i want to wake up early then honestly anytime any, any any time of day is, is is best but i'm more likely to be doing it either in the morning or in the or in the evening the day is is for whatever i have to do during during life um what i do during a practice could be could be a couple different things um it could be just a just an emptiness an emptiness session where i'm just kind of um focusing on the breath and and nothing else so it, it's just uh it's just a either like a concentration um, session and an emptiness so just emptying yourself of of any of the impressions that have, have come in through the day um and just uh and just reconnecting with with pure breath alone so that's one thing i could do another thing i could do is i could be doing introspective work where i'm taking something, uh, a habit, uh, an experience, and I want to initiate it, then I keep that in mind and just let it, just kind of let it ring out and ask questions and see if I can get some answers with one particular thing. And you can meditate and get some good answers on that. I say meditate, that might be the wrong word. Uh, uh, yeah, quiet contemplation might be a, might be a good word uh, to use. Or like terms, excuse me with the yeah with the source yeah to yeah yeah absolutely mm -hmm. um another another type of meditation that i'll do is uh kind of um like a tactile imaging it's uh or, or if you if you rub your arm or rub your hand you have a bit of and you, then you stop rubbing your hand you have a sensation that lingers on your hand mm -hmm. and what you can do is that, so let's say i set this pattern going like just like this and then i and i take my finger away but with my mind i keep keep doing that pattern as if i'm still touching with my finger what you'll notice is that you can still feel your finger rubbing your own hand right yeah. but just with mental effort not with any physical contact yeah. and um and, and what's happening there is you are directly interfacing your your body with with um, with the mental effort with the field of energy that that surrounds you you're you're manipulating it in such a way that you're um stimulating the the, the nervous system in your, in your body so that being said one of the things i could do during this session is just to work on my on my energy body by by doing that um and manipulating <laughs> manipulating the energy around uh, my 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 upper body my legs my lower body um, in, in whatever in whatever way and that always is um always is there's some audio coming through i think someone just Sorry, uh, yeah, one second. yeah 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 sure. <laughs> i'm not able to mute them you might uh, in... I could do it for other people, but this guy. Is this it, technology stuff. There should be an option guy. there. I know, yeah, it's yeah, a bit yeah. Annoying, right? <laughs> sometimes it works, just sometimes it doesn't work. I think, yeah, it's fine now. There's, if you if you're the, you should be able to there's there should be an option if you're the moderator 
um, to, yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, there, yeah. there you go. They found I mean, it. Yeah. So, yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, so that's another thing that I, that you could do, um, or that that I that I de definitely do do. Um, good places to do that are the the soles of your feet, the underside of your feet, and your hands, because those are very very sensitive area areas. Um, astrally speaking, in terms of their astral sensitivity, your hands and the underside of your feet. So a, a good meditation would be to just sit calmly and then to run that that mental process on the underside of your feet. Kind of like someone has a paintbrush and is just painting the underside of your feet. As absurd as that sounds, I, I know. But <laughs> no, I'm already doing it with my mind. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that feels good. <laughs> and, and you will, you'll be able to, yeah, yeah. You, you, can, you can definitely feel sensation there, right? And, yeah. uh, and, it, and it's a way to manipulate your own your own etheric energy field. It's not really a manipulation of your astral field. It's more of the etheric energy. Um, and that's a topic for another day, but that's a type of I'm meditation curious. you can do. So there, there, there are different there are different styles that I that I play with every, you know, I, I vary from, from session to session. It's not always the same thing, but uh, whichever one I'm doing, I, I like before bed or, or in the morning at some point. Awesome. So uh, before asking another question, I want to ask you, what is your time limit? How is it going? And like, because it's already, I think, one and a half hours that we've been talking and you have... Uh, is it really? Oh like... my God. <laughs> yeah, right. Holy smokes. Um, no, it's it's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm okay. Oh, yeah. You had, do you have enough time? Like, we, uh, we mm -hmm. can also, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm really enjoying this and then we can do it today till whatever time and then we can uh, risk, uh, like have another session. I would love to keep sure. hearing, you know, your um, uh, experiences sure. and I would also put it on my YouTube and promote it and like, you know, benefit whichever way I can. <laughs> oh, amazing. Um, amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I would say, yeah, I would say if I'm, uh, yeah, if, um, I'd say another like uh, another 15. 15, okay. 20 minutes and then uh, and then yeah i probably have to have to pack up and start heading out yes i completely understand yeah. awesome mm -hmm. so um we took the questions from the audience just let me get into the flow sure. yes yeah yeah um so right before right before you right before you do that um i yes. sorry i realized i didn't answer your your other question uh yes. in terms of like a um uh my lifestyle and uh, eating lifestyle, like what I do day to day, like what I, yes. what exactly I would eat. Obviously that's a really common question too. Um, yes. And that's, that's, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing shocking or crazy about that. Well, maybe, maybe shocking, but um, it's not, it's not a difficult thing. It's any, pick any fruit, right. And in, in its isolation, I would eat that. So uh, this week, I've plums. Plum plums are plums are in season right now. I've been eating a lot of plums. So at dinner time or lunch time, uh, it could be five, six plums. That would be a meal. And then maybe in the evening, uh, have some watermelon uh, or a cantaloupe or something. Um, wow. I will eat. I'll either eat one meal a day or I'll eat meals a day. Sometimes it's been three, three smaller meals. I'm not really super, super strict on it. I just kind of go go with the flow and see what my body's what my body's feeling like that day. Um, I'm, I'm very comfortable eating not much at all, like one meal or nothing during the day, uh, or or two meals. Usually, it's about two meals a day. Uh, but yeah, any no nothing nothing along in in terms of what I what I say I do. I'm eating fruit and that, that really is it. So mangoes are a meal, a couple of mangoes are a meal, a couple of pears are a meal. Um, if I want to go a bit more fancy, maybe I can, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I can crush up uh, some bananas and bananas and dates. I love bananas and dates. I don't yeah, do it very I know often. that one. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's, oh my God, it's so tasty. I, I don't yeah. do it very often, but that that's a good treat. Um, yes. Or maybe even uh, pears, pears and dates. That's uh, it's an amazing combination. Um, yeah, so just very simple meals, either twice, sometimes three, or or, or just one meal during the day. So um, yeah, you can you, you and, can and use your imagination. Like, yeah. <laughs> I eat so much, <laughs> so much more than you. <laughs> and look at you, and look at me. 
Oh my god, you know, I I eat like if I I sh- like I'm at my friend's place and I still have like so much fruit around me. I'm like 15 kgs of watermelon like on the left, <laughs> and then like a few kgs of papayas and bananas over here. And I would eat like uh, my first <laughs> first meal would be. Oh, I could grab the papaya maybe. My first meal would be like two two watermelons or something, you know. And there's just like one whole yes. <laughs> big yes. papaya. I could eat oh, two of them sometimes. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm in. I can pack away papaya like no one's business. I will. I I can eat so much papaya. The stuff is yeah. amazing. Yeah. I, yeah. I've de- I'm, definitely. I'm, I've definitely eaten like two, two, three papayas in a sitting. You know, before like yeah. it's. Oh, it, it'll happen. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> but I I also think like I am kind of like detoxifying right now, and um, I feel good yeah. with eating. So I'm just going with my feeling, and um, uh, yeah, fruit is nice to eat. <laughs> yes so yes, yeah absolutely. eating eating a lot uh, whatever i can so um mm-hmm. uh maybe you could tell me what is what is it that you're uh, you already like least reach such a high in your life when it comes to your food and then there was this one question mm-hmm. i was like are you looking at going like you know breatharian or something because you're oh, eating oh, such yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's such little yeah. food you know and then you're maintaining your body mm-hmm. as well so it definitely has to do with like that you've reached uh, you know certain level of consciousness with respect to your body yeah. as well right uh, because it's not yeah. losing weight even when you're eating less it's like there's some some beautiful magic that you've done with your clean diet and your Aww. you know beauty inside and your love and everything so uh, where do you see yourself like maybe you want to would you like to become a breatharian probably later <laughs> yeah yeah you know what <laughs> yes oh wow <laughs> yes it's it's i don't i don't talk i don't mention it too too often on my channel obviously because it's a channel that's meant for the public right i, I want to be yes. as accessible to as many people as possible yeah but if you're talking about like my what really inspires me then yeah like i i find that so inspiring i find that really 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 fascinating and going over records of people that have done that in the past it's yes. just like oh my god yeah it's, it's amazing right <laughs> and you know, people are out there they, they exist yeah they're out there right yeah. and they're doing they're doing that they're living that that lifestyle so um yeah if um if if i can get there or even close just you know what i think for me it's just gaining like just com- complete mastery over over that aspect over the eating aspect in whatever way if that's just very 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 minimal and very very minimally and still you know feeling fine like that's that's a great place for me to be so so just having the the most control and the most mastery over yeah over that eating lifestyle i think for me is is a, is a good is motivation is, is the motivation and where that takes me in the future i guess we'll see but um but that that is definitely something i aim for yeah for sure Wow, beautiful. It's beautiful. So I'm still transitioning to a raw diet, but like in my heart also, I tell myself, yeah, maybe, you know, uh, I would also like yeah. to be a Brazilian someday. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I, 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 you know, there's, there's an inescapable beauty to it that I don't think anyone would fail to recognize, you know, just yes. being like living in complete complete harmony with, with the environment and not, not needing anything from it. And still giving out to it and just, yeah like i mean you can't help you can't help but but be inspired by people that that would be doing that obviously i'm not talking about myself i'm talking about other people that have achieved achieved that already and it's just it's it's amazing that's amazing yes definitely inspiring and something that you would want to uh, look up to and it's so freaking liberating you know the first time i yeah. I I, I, yeah. I did a water fast. I was like, wow, I can live without food for one day. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah right? you know, freedom, yeah. you know. So I'm sure like, freedom. you know, yeah, you, you have to worry about nothing. It's like you can do so much with life. Definitely yeah. something that I would like to experience in my human form. This or another life, I don't know. <laughs> but like, yes. it, would be, yes. it would be nice to experience. So I have yeah. another question. So how, how do you like uh, yeah, living in? Living in, uh, we will kind of conclude now because I don't want to, you know, uh, take so much of your time. And I would love it if we can do like more sessions, maybe one session, and we can like focus on one topic, maybe ethics or something. I don't sure. know. Figure out. Sure. Yeah, uh, that'd be good. 
Yeah. Yes. Is. Awesome. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was going to ask you. So, how is it living in Toronto? Like, uh, with respect to availability of food, or maybe just nature and sunlight. You know, how mm -hmm. do you feel? Where do you see yourself in the future with respect to your job and right. also your, uh, you know, living space? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so in terms of how how the lifestyle is, how how sticking to this lifestyle is in Toronto, uh, you might find some people out there that say it's hard. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. It's uh -huh. so easy. <laughs> For me, living where, yeah. I, where I am right now, it's very easy. We have an abundance of just everything imaginable right at your, right at, right at your disposal, right at your fingertips. Like I've got all sorts of grocery stores in the area. I have um, lots of Jamaican uh, grocers, um, East Asian grocery stores uh, for like all my tropical tropical food um, desires, the Jamaican stores, everything, right? And then a whole bunch of like big chain uh, stores. I have farmer's markets in the area. There, Toronto is great for that. We have everything, we have everything. So it, it's, it's very easy living, living this way in Toronto, I have to say. Like I couldn't, I couldn't imagine it being easier to, to be completely honest, right? Yeah. Um, now I would have better quality fruit or better quality food, I should say, if I were in the, in living in the tropics or whatnot. Um, but at the same time, because, you know, because it's just such a developed area, I mean, like the amount of stores and grocery stores and conveniences all, you know, all within uh, a very close proximity to one another. It's like, it, it's, it's almost hard for me to imagine that it would be even more convenient somewhere else. Uh, so I'm sure it could be. It's just, it's just, this is just no. my narrow experience, right? No, I am. But I'm sure it's living in Toronto good. and yeah, yeah. Any, anyone wanting to do a raw, like, like a raw food diet, any kind of raw food diet, I mean, it, very easy, very, very, very easy in, in Toronto. You have access to everything. I'm sure there are parts, there are parts of, the, you know, as you go outside the city, uh, you know, it'll probably get more difficult. But in the city, um, is just, yeah, they, they, they cater to every, every possible thing that you could want. So, so I really like it there. Um, I, I would like to at least have some uh some getaway uh some some property some getaway uh, in in the tropics for for the future I've, I've looked into it in the past and i i um i actually did have a place in um oh my god uh oh jesus not dominican oh honduras <laughs> i was looking at a place in honduras and uh and i was i was very close to having a place there but it didn't it didn't end up working out so i i um, i had to I had to get rid of the property, but um, but yeah. So I I would like to ha at least have a place in the tropics where I can go and spend a good time a portion of the year, because like you were saying, you alluded to the sun and like how how does it work with the sunlight and are you getting enough you know of that during the winter? And no, the answer is no. You, you don't get enough sun during during the winter. You're okay. you're indoors. And, <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I know, right? So, right? I, I expect to have a place ready for me in the winter time. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Thank, that's so kind of you. Thank you so much. Well, yeah, I, I will definitely, I definitely take you up on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll come. I'll come stay with your community, and um, yeah, uh, yeah that, that, that'd be amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're but, making um, a, but yeah, during uh, winter. Yeah, go ahead. I want to hear you. Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, during the winter. Yeah, it's, you know, you're, you're in Canada, you don't get as much sunlight during the winter time. Um, have I found it really detracted from my ability to live the lifestyle? Though? No, because you still have you still have everything in your convenience. Uh, like, oh, my God, it's winter middle of winter time and I'm eating durian. Like, you know. Yeah. Uh, how, yeah. how are we complaining it's it's it's, yeah. it's very easy so in terms of the lifestyle that doesn't take a hitch but um yeah like well with me i'm i'm half um i'm half black and half italian right half saint lucian half italian so when it during the winter my skin i i turn completely white just completely Ooh. white during, during the winter 
<laughs> and then during the summer, then it, then it changes, then it's going to get like so much darker. Oh, wow. so crazy contrast. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, we, we don't get much sun during, we, we do get a lot. We do get quite a bit though. We do, we do get, we do get a good deal of sun for, uh, for a place that has winter, the winter season. Um, but still, yeah, it's, it's not, you know, you would, we definitely prefer to get that sun all year, all year long. Um, but does it, um, it, am I worried about, okay, so this is what I think people are getting at. Am I worried about vitamin D deficiency or whatnot? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not worried about these things, to be honest. I, I'm, I'm really not. Um, you, you, you get a lot of this with the food and, uh, would it be better if I were in the tropics? Yes, absolutely. Would it be better if I were in the tropics? Yes. But um, I, I'm not worried about deficiencies uh, because I just, the, the body is very, very strong. It has, it has the ability to, to, to maintain itself throughout a winter, especially yeah. if you're eating what it's supposed to be eating, you're, but, you're definitely getting a lot of what you need. So I, I, I personally would not worry about that. Um, I'm open to, de to debate on this, like I'm not a, an expert. Uh, I don't claim to be the master expert on this, but you know, I, I, I've, I haven't seen a problem yet. So. Yes. Hmm. Awesome. Um, and with respect to your job, like what do you, would you like to be completely a health coach or mm -hmm. are you looking at, um, you know, continuing with the being a stuntman and what, what do you see yourself as? Yeah. Well, I, I, I do love working in the, in the industry and I'll, um, uh, I do what I'd like to do now is uh, just make a more of a transition into um, this, this type of work, health coaching and uh, managing, managing my channel. I don't have my own website yet because this was always just something I was doing on the side for, for, for people, for everyone else. Right. Um, so I never really saw it as, as that, as that thing. It was just, it was just this obligation that I was feeling to just get out what I was, what I was learning. And that's, that's still what it is now. So I, I still haven't created a, you know, a, a business or a website with it. I, I offer consultations, um, but that's, that's just something I'm, you know, I'm just offering out there. It's, it's not like I haven't regimented it as a, as a, as a business practice quite yet, because I still yeah. do have this side of me that, that really loves performing in the, in the industry. Things are changing in the industry now <clears throat> as you know, and we haven't really spoken about it, but maybe that's something we'll have to speak about next time about how this, uh, this ridiculous fear campaign associated with, uh, you know, the, the, yeah. the virus and all that, all that nonsense. I, I, I need to choose my words carefully. No, I'm not nonsense. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? It's not nonsense, but it's the, completely. but it's the fear associated with with this condition is drastically drastically over exaggerated and it's done so that so as to impose an, an, a ridiculously crushing tyrannical um agenda on the population at large so they're just they're, they've created this this vague enemy out there and they want you to be ultra scared of it they want you to, to just be in panic be in terror be scared of everything in your environment be scared of your neighbor be scared of the microbe on the floor be scared of your own feet be scared of the environment around you be scared of everything right that, that, that's what they want so yeah. anyway in response to, to this to this um orwellian nightmare that the that the social engineers have created the film industry is changing and if, if it gets too tyrannical then i would have no choice but but to leave um but an, until that time, then yes, I, I, I do love the industry. Uh, I am, uh, you know, if, if I can coordinate at some point in the future, do like stunt coordination and whatnot, that would be great too. And I would have a lot of fun with that. Um, and I would, but I would never, I would never shun my obligation to obviously the health community. I'm still going put, to be putting, uh, putting out that content, but I think I do want to move more towards, it's more in line with, with me with, uh, with, you know, with, uh, you know, how I see myself, I'm just making more of this, my, my, uh, my lifestyle and my business, right. Yeah. Rather than, rather than everything else, because yeah, this, this is the stuff that's important. This is the stuff that really matters.
yes certainly certainly awesome i really wish yeah. you like mm. you know all the abundance and the time and the money and the love and everything that you you know uh, deserve so much for everything that you want uh, to do in life <laughs> and i hope so it all much. turns in like colors and stars and divinity and yeah. uh, guidance you know all the uh, Satyug in the divine life that you yes <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much I, and you too I wish you I wish you all the health and wellness and, and love and abundance that the universe could possibly give you and uh, and and thank you so much for having me on your on your platform here it's it's really amazing and it's 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 so great what you're doing with your community I, I think I mentioned it before but uh, yeah it's it, you know much respect for that and because it, it takes a certain person to to have that commitment to, to go ahead and do something like that and we we need more of it on, on the planet and uh you, you know you're helping out so thank you so much for for everything you're doing and of course for, for having you on your on your show uh thank you so much as well and i'm really uh, surely reconnect i hope you have a very lovely day and uh thank you everyone also who joined in um lots of love and amazingness for everyone all right bye bye thank eli you. thank you yes. thank you so much Thank you so much. Okay. All right. We'll see you on the next one. And thank you everyone for, for sitting in and listening to this. If, uh, if you had questions that we didn't get to, I know, please, you know, don't, don't kill me. Uh, maybe <laughs> we can get to it. We can get to it next time. But uh, yes, yeah, I really yes. appreciate, appreciate you guys uh, all sitting in with this, with us today. So thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Love you. <laughs> okay. Take care guys. <laughs> <Mwah>. <laughs>